Hello everybody, Joe Duenas again here at SGHExpert.com. You know, this is your first time here, welcome. And for our regular subscribers, you know this is where homeowners come who want to get the true, unedited information on what's happening here in San Joaquin Hills, no political correctness, and how is it affecting our home values. Well, if you saw our last video, it really did recap the entire 2012 market. And right now, where we are, we just got done with the first quarter of 2013. And I want to go over some very specifics that have gone on and some of the trends that we uh, somewhat predicted. And more importantly now, what we could predict for the next 90 days here. Let's start out and see what's happened here in the first uh, quarter of 2013. Well, the first thing you want to notice is that there's only currently four homes for sale. Now, at times, you remember in the last seven years, we've had up to 35, 38 homes for sale. And starting last March, we've really been hindering somewhere between 9 and 10. So, as we've been saying, the inventory has constricted about 80%, and this is indicative of it. More importantly than that is, of those four currently for sale, none of them are short sale or bank foreclosure. They're strictly equity sales. As far as the eight that are currently in escrow, of those eight, we've had some carryovers from uh, short sales, three of them that are just in escrow finally this year, and the other five that are in escrow, A, are in equity positions, and B, if you remember last year, the entire year 2012, we only had one home in the entire development that was able to sell and close for over a million. Our predictions, we are gonna see that surpass this year, and currently right now, there are four homes here well over the million uh, in escrow, a million two, a couple on Jessica, a plan four, uh, uh, the real nice plan one, 2,900 square feet, and of course, a very darling there is our summit plan two. Uh, that was on Manor Hill, that was listed for a million four nine five. It went into escrow, and in all fairness, it was a very, very meticulous home that every single appointment was put in there, about three, four hundred thousand dollars of great upgrades. The lot configuration was phenomenal, and the homeowners did a phenomenal job on really upgrading it to fulfill um, this property to its fullest potential. And it's going to be really interesting to see where that closes. As far as the six homes that have closed escrow in this first quarter, just one was a bank foreclosure that carried over from last year, and the last five were all in equity positions there, starting to creep up between the 900 and the 910. Now, the real interesting point I want to address and the takeaway for this are three segments of the market uh, that I'm seeing here in San Joaquin Hills specifically. One is the ones who have been postponing the refinance. If I had a nickel for how many people in the last few years wanted to take advantage of the rates, but the equity position wasn't there to consolidate your loans, uh, maybe just get from a 6% down to a 3%. However, now in the last nine months, the equity positions are back and the appraisers are being much more lenient to be able to let those uh, refinances go through. So if you've been hovering somewhere about a 5% interest rate and you've been happy, now's the time to get that equity position and refi and consolidate those loans. Second of all, if you are a move-up buyer, those are the ones who uh, for years have been postponing the purchase of a bigger home because the equity position wasn't there. So they were sitting and waiting. That truly has become our new shadow inventory. And what I mean by that is right now those equity positions are there. We've been helping a lot of homeowners here but the problem is, the home they're thinking of purchasing, there's only two or three homes that fit their needs. Once they come on the market, they're flooded with uh, offers, and they're not going to accept one, for the most part, of one that's continued. So what are they doing? They're waiting. Those are the ones that I've been getting a call on. Those are the ones we've been putting specific strategies. There are opportunities out there, but you've got to have a strategy. And everybody's different. Everybody has different needs. Uh, feel free to give us a call here, and I, we'd love to go over your needs there. Lastly, I want to talk about how many people have been, been postponing retirement. Had some uh, great times to still uh, be gainfully employed, so they continue to work and postpone the retirement. Right now, the downsize market, if you've been thinking about downsizing, if you have a second home, your equity position is there. And the key factor, the reason why so many people are jumping on is we don't know how sustainable this run-up is. We've seen how quickly they turn. Uh, is this run-up because of uh, job growth? I personally don't believe that. I think it's just strictly supply and demand. When we have so much pent-up demand, this is my third real estate cycle, one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight years of pent-up demand because our lives change regularly, it really does 
increase the market there. So if you've been thinking of downsizing, I highly suggest you jump on that now. Well, for right now, what I want to say is any questions, any comments, feel free to give us a call. If this video was passed over to you, by all means, subscribe because we put these together monthly just to keep you informed of what's happening. And of course, until we meet, you take care.